Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for Consistently Creative Cruise Project Recipe class. This month we are going to be doing the Painted Garden uh, Project Recipe from Creative Memories and we will be using the Floral Peaks Punch. You can use any border punch that has kind of a lacy look to it. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the Painted Garden. This is the embellishment pack or some of it. There was so much I couldn't fit it all on there. But anyway, these are the some of the beautiful embellishments. And the stickers are really pretty as well. And I have used some of them already on my layout that you can see that I have under here. And there are also beautiful mats that go with this collection. And they are different on both sides, which is something a little bit different than what they've um, done in the past. They used to be similar, but now they're all a little bit different and they have some really cute sayings, live simply, bloom wildy, uh, rain or shine, all kinds of cute little things. One fine day. Anyway, really sweet. Lots of little hummingbirds and flowers and things. So we are going to need a, I'll just go through the paper real quick. We're going to use a white cardstock, and that's going to be, we're using that for welding and photo mats. And then we're also going to be using two tone on tone pieces of the paper as our base. Um, did, sorry, designer papers as our base and two tone on tone. One we're going to cut apart for our mats and the other we're going to use as this, what I have in my layout here, this green paper coming across. So if you want to start with the white cardstock, and we're going to need our 12 inch trimmer. And our first cut is going to be at three inches. Cutting guide out here. So, as you can see on the cutting guide right here, we're going to do two three inch strips. So, three by 12. Once, twice. Then we're going to turn this piece of paper and we're going to make two photo mats. We're going to cut at four. So we're going to have a four by six, one, and then four by six, two. And then on the third one, we're going to cut the little oval out of that. And we're going to use the largest of the oval um, patterns. And let me just double check because we're using two different sizes and highlighted on our instructions here for piece E, which is the one we're cutting here. Use the inside of the largest oval CCS pattern with the green blade. Out with the green blades, set it up. This is making a little, um, sort of like a little journaling area that we're going to use for this little shape. So that's one. So we're just going to label these. A, B, C. D and E. That one is extra. All right, so set the aside. Okay, now we're going to go to our tone on tone piece of paper, which is number one. I'm using the green here. Back out of the way, and. I'm going to want to explain this a little because I found that it was um, better to cut this after. So we're just going to cut uh, at six inches here. So we're not going to cut this in half yet. Okay. So we're just going to cut. We're not going to punch this yet. We're going to do that afterwards. So we're just going to cut this at six inches. So we're going to save this six inch piece and we're going to punch on there later. So what's left is we have six inches 
And we want to cut that at four and one quarter. See me on there? So we're cutting this at four and a quarter. And then we're gonna cut it at six. So we have two four and a quarter by six inch pieces here. All right, this piece is extra. Put that aside. The labels. I'm going to put my little labels on here for now, but we'll come back to this piece of paper later because we're going to punch this later. So this will be H and J. And on this H piece, we are going to take that same large um, oval shape and we're going to cut with. Highlighted it. So now this one is the red blade. So we're going to use the red blade on the inside of here. So this is basically making a mat for the, the white one that we cut. Okay, so we could just center that in our piece of paper, lined up in the tracks. And this also is used as a photo mat. So good use of paper because we're using this, this piece. That's the I. And then J goes over here. Let's set up. Okay, so H and I. All right, we're going to come back to this one in a little bit. So don't put it too far away. We're going to move on to cutting guide number three, if everybody's keeping up with me. <laughs> so I have. So this is my paper number two, and this is cup guide number three. And this is where we're making some more photo mats. So we're going to make our first cut at four and a quarter. I think I'm just going to turn that, that right now at six. And Now, then we have this piece of paper left, and we're going to cut six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we're going to, the first cut is going to be here at six and a quarter. Left over, and then we're going to turn this and cut at six and a quarter. Four. Oh, I messed that up. Four and a quarter. All right, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Luckily, this is left over. Thank you, Colleen. Caught you. Yep. Caught me right as I cut. <laughs> this is left over, so I'm, I'm. I ended up okay. So four and a quarter because we have our six and a quarter from the first cut. See, those are scraps. Phew. Kind of subverted. Okay, so. We have, let's see, these are the two bigger ones. So this one is K, this one is L, M, and N. Okay, is everyone caught up with me? Deanna, if you're talking, you're muted, yeah. I understand, I just unmuted, I'm sorry. I cut the six and a quarter. Is the six and a quarter piece the one that I turned to cut four and a quarter, or is it the piece? Yes. Okay, yep. so the six and a quarter piece, I then turn and do four and a quarter. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And then the last piece is scrap. Yes, a little piece on the side is scrap. And then the last two things that were the last two pieces of paper that we're going to do is we're going to punch uh, on the outsides and then we're going to trim one side. So we're actually punching both sides of both pieces of paper. So we're going to make four borders here. Well, four cuts or punched edges basically. 
So I always like to start here. But basically, you're just going to um, do your outside edges of your two base pieces of paper. And this is a tone on tone? Designer. A designer paper. Mine happened to look like a tone on tone. So I think maybe I said tone on tone, but this is not, this is what they're calling designer paper. These okay. two sheets are designer. Um, I ended up using the sides that kind of are a tone on tone. So we're just going to go ahead and whatever punch you decided to use. And this one is interesting because it doesn't look like it's um, it's very much, but it does. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna run that through. And this one has a nice little triangle here to help us guide us through there. And then if there's a left problem, then we're going to do the other side. What punches are people using? I'm using the mandala punch. Uh, Colleen, are you, did you use painted garden? I used, yes, I used the, um, the punch. Floral peaks. I used the floral peaks border. Okay, so now we're on to our second piece of paper. I didn't. I think I didn't pull my little guy over. I was punching too many times. So I wasn't paying attention to my triangle. Two different papers punched with the same punch. Yes. Correct. Exactly. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And you can use a border maker cartridge too. It's just like a you're just putting an edge on, you know, and it's an edge one. So just use one that doesn't come off if you're using a if you wanted to use a border maker cartridge. Okay. So we are going to trim off an edge and this, you just need to pay attention to which edge you're cutting off. Once you, you can cut one, but then you gotta make sure you cut the right one uh, for the next side. So I think, let me decide which piece of paper I want on which side. If your paper is not directional, it doesn't matter what side you cut off. Um, sure. That's true. Yeah, because you can you can turn it upside down, right? Not flip it over, but upside right. down. Yep. All right. So I just want to read this measurement. So we're going to cut it off at one and a quarter. All right. So we're going to put the edges of the where we punched. So here's an inch and then one quarter. You're just going to trim one off. And that's going to end up, so let's say this is this one. This will be like that. And then the next one, you are correct. Because so if you cut off the wrong side, you could just turn your piece of paper over. If it's non-directional or direction. Non, yeah, non-directional. All right, so we're going to cut off again. And, um, at the inch and quarter. Oh, 
while we had the punch out, I got to come back to this one. Forgot about that. All right, so we're going to just punch one edge of this, remember this piece of paper that we cut from, um, so this one, we're gonna, it's basically a six inch, the six inch piece, and then we're gonna cut it in half, but first we're gonna punch the one, one the short edge. All right, and then we're going to cut this in half lengthwise. And so we're going to cut that at three inches. Now the directions say to um, cut this off at, at 10 inches, but I'm going to wait on that because it depends on the look that you want. If you want it to line up exactly, here, if you're gonna want it a little bit longer, but if you wanna offset it a little bit like I did, you're gonna want it a little bit different. So we can wait on cutting those. Great. Now we're going to assemble and it's really, oops, I should have put my little markers on here. Um, um, it's helpful to use your 13 inch mat to do this because we're going to weld these pieces that we started with the white cardstock, the A and B are going to be our weld pieces. So what I like to do is just put a little bit of repo and we're gonna line that up right at this edge and hang on, I gotta move over a little. So I'm going to line that right up on the 13 inch mat. And then I'm going to take my designer piece. I'm going to put repo over my pattern here. And then we're going to line this edge up over here at the opposite edge. Right. So I think it's lined up just right. I can press that down. And then we're ending up using the little piece from the other color piece of paper. So a little corner here. And then this piece is going to go over here. Ooh, that's pretty. Nope. Have little bits of lines when it wasn't exact. Just going to pinch those out of there. Like to use the repo here. And then we're just going to line this right up on this corner. There, so that's how that all works out, like so. And I think while I'm here, I'm gonna decide, this is still attached. So you can decide if you want it kind of like that look. So if you see how I have it lined up exactly with the, the pattern, I could do it that way, but if I wanted to offset it, ooh, I think I might like that a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. I like the little edge coming out over here. So I'm just going to attach this and I'll cut this off later. After I'm all assembled, then I know exactly how big I want it. Just a couple of inches come off. So it's right around um, two inches. So if you Kind of start it on that side and then figure out where you want it to end up over here. And I want the pattern to end up 
the pattern is more important than the measurement over here, but it does end up right around 10. There. Go ahead and do the other sheet on the other side. How is everybody doing? I'm lost in the assembly. I'm sorry. <laughs> what <laughs> okay, no problem. So um, so I'll do this side and then you can see how that. Okay, maybe that'll I'll help. Do it again, it's like a repeat. All right, we're gonna take, in this case, it's B, either A or B, the, the white piece of cardstock, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of repo on it and attach it to my mat right in the corner, the edge of the mat, because this is where the, the measurement of the piece of paper, because we want it to come out at 12 by 12, obviously. So now in this case, I'm using my yellow sheet on this side, right? And so I'm gonna put the repo on the other side. Yeah, they were saying this was, um, I'm supposed to use that side. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're gonna see if, uh, the meme that Colleen posted the other day about running out of a tape runner holds true. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to do all of that. Silly. I put all that tape runner down there. I really only needed it over here. Oh, oh it's really going to stay put on my mat. <laughs> all right. So I'm just really should have just put the repo on this edge where the, um, pattern is, but I'm lining it up over here at the 12, you know, right in the corner so that it welds together perfectly at, for a 12 inch piece. Okay, so are you following now? I think so. And then this side goes over here. So we're using, you know, the opposite. Off opposite sides of the paper. I feel like this is going to be really neat. All right, so then this is going to go right over on this edge. Okay. Run my finger over there to get rid of the saw. All right, and then this one was that green piece, well, in my case, green, that I didn't cut yet. That was F. This is the piece that's gonna go over here. Mm. All right, so now I really want to line this up with this piece that's on this side because these are going to butt together in my album, but I also got to make sure that this side is lined up with the pattern. So, there. Yeah. Okay, so I have mine just a little edge right there. Does that help you, Deanna? I think so, thank you, I'm sorry. Okay. I, oh no, no worries. I got up to punch and then I got back. And I was like, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're finishing up this. There's H. No. Each is going to go here. And this part's going to end up going over here. Well, that's an I. <laughs> Looks like an H. And then the white pieces are going to, you're going to mat your photo. So the white, white green is over here. This is gonna end up going on here like that. And it makes a cute little 
turn away box and then this goes here here does that make sense i think so okay so if nobody has any questions we can pause the recording to get this all put together i'm going to pick these up and trim them off in a little bit while we're maybe i'll wait on that so that we do that on camera anybody have any questions before we pause all right we'll see you in a little bit All right, thanks everyone. We have uh, spent some time putting our layout together. Um, I did flip this piece of paper over and trim this edge off. Um, also, the stickers from the collection look really good in this uh, section right here of the white. Um, and then this was the little embellishment um, cluster area that we had um, that's on the layout. And I'm gonna do my journaling when I'm um, by myself. It's quiet. <laughs> and I guess that's pretty much it. We have um, some other folks who made the layout that would be nice to share. Who wants to go first? I can go first. I actually get mm -hmm. um, the pattern. I, I love the painted garden and I, I do want to try it with that eventually, but because I wasn't sure how it would turn out, I actually did it with Christmas paper. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, this is seasonal. Ooh. And I, hope, I think it definitely shows how that punch is versatile enough that you can. Oh, use. wow. Oh, very pretty. Oh, that came out great. Really nice, Deanna. Thank you. Yeah, and I like the dark um colors that you chose i feel like the darker colors um stand out really nicely mm -hmm. i agree what else do we have Chloe? Mm -hmm. yep i use painted garden well that's the actual um papers that the um, company did for their sample and those um, photos are adorable those little friendly faces that's beautiful event we just went on Thank you. saturday it's the quickest i've ever oh you just went <laughs> just went on saturday wow that's awesome i just did exactly what i want to use them for who's I, next i think um Peg posted hers on our Consistently Creative Croppers page. So if you want to go check out um, other people's layouts, you can head Kari over to mine. The... I don't have photos, yeah, um, but okay. thank you. And Kari did it. Oh, oh, I like oh, that. Pretty. That's the, um, oh. the, what is that called? Mirrored something, mirrored that's scallop? Woven scallop. Woven scallop. Oh, that's nice. Funny. I like it, Kari. Very, nice. Very pretty. That fresh focus. Yep. Fresh focus, Check. yes, beautiful. Good. Well, Peg was going to try that tomorrow. Nice. Did anybody else create with us that wants to show or was that? That might be it. Awesome. Well, um, if just wanted to remind everybody that the free shipping until Friday on an $80 purchase. So if you have any items that you want to get, like this beautiful painted garden, go ahead and do that before Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Cheryl. You're welcome.